Today, we're going to continue building the ultimate research submarine capable of uncovering the ocean's greatest mysteries. Let's get started. We're back with the ultimate research submarine, but today we're going to be doing some interior final touches. Let's bring this to the workbench and get started here. So this is our kitchen here. We made um, a couple of episodes back. One of the first ones actually, and uh, we actually need some like AC pipes connecting to this. So what we did last video, we just made some pipes connecting to the walls and stuff. And it just kind of looked like uh, realistic because submarines in real life do have like pipes everywhere, which is pretty crazy. Honestly, I don't even know what all those pipes do. So we're just going to add some pipes for all this stuff since uh, we are building a submarine here. So let's go ahead and do that and maybe put, uh, maybe connect this pipe to the HVAC um, AC system right there. And then isn't there another one in here? Uh, I don't think there is, but why don't we run this um, actually up here to the control center? I think that's what you call it, right? The control center for the um, control room in the submarine. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Then we're going to add some um, red pipes right here. Um, I don't know what these do. That just looks red and it looks cool. So we're going to add some of that, of course. We'll make it go straight like this and go around our um, light system there. Maybe add um, whatever this is to it and make it turn back into the wall here because why not? I don't know. And there we go. Now we got some stuff going on in here. Now we're going to go on this one right here. All right. So we definitely need some um, probably another fan like right up here because there is a whole bunch of like equipment in this room and we don't want it to get um, overheated. That would suck. So let's grab some more piping here and line some the ceiling with um, AC. So let's grab this pipe and just line it all the way across connected to that one and let's just do it also right here and um right on this wall too so why not a lot of these pipes are looking a bit too like straight uh actually we'll have some curvature right here so let's connect this bathroom pipe all the way to this one then we're gonna have to add a uh t pipe right here which is um a t right here perfect and then we'll connect all these pipes uh via pipe also I'm saying pipe so much. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. It's looking quite nice in here. And then let's go ahead and add a um, red pipe that goes all the way down here. And it kind of looks like um, hot water for the sink here. So we'll just do that right there. And maybe we'll have it run across this wall um, for some reason, just for some decoration, I guess. So we're going to run it straight down here. I might get in the way of the AC, but that's fine. Then we're going to add a additional um, ventilation thing right about here. And then um, probably one right above the lavatory and in front of the HVAC room. So there we go. We got that. And let's line some pipes to it because, of course, we need to do that. So let's have it just run straight down the middle of the hallway. So it's not like in the way. Maybe we could add like some other um, stuff on the side of that. There we go. We got that there. And then we'll just connect this to the HVAC room like that. And then why don't we have it um, turn in here and go to the captain's bedroom, which is mine, of course. There we go. All right, it's looking pretty nice in here. And then why don't we have this um, also turn into the captain's room? And then this wall right here is looking really plain. We definitely need to add some stuff on here. So uh, I think we're just going to delete this part right here. And then why don't we do this here? We'll just line this wall with some uh, radiators just like this. So it kind of looks like fans and they'll be spinning once we turn on all the HVAC in this thing. So it'll look uh, kind of And we'll go ahead and line them all with uh, blue. We'll just do it straight through the middle as always. And then we'll have this um, go straight into the ceiling so it can connect to the one up there. Perfect, perfect. And then line this one straight down all the way to the radiator down here and there we go and then we'll have this one right here uh just go straight to the floor actually so if i can actually delete the right block there we go put a t-piece there upside down and uh line this straight to the floor and then we'll have like some dials here that will display um absolutely nothing we'll put this dial here and then it, it will be blue but then we'll turn the um dial right here we don't want this dial part to be blue so we'll change it to white and there we go and why don't we do some uh red stuff here so let's grab some red pipes and we'll just line it up like this and then i've seen some stuff where people make like a torque meter at a T piece two also right here and we'll have a pipe that will run this way and it'll go up and it'll probably just curve like right here for a whole bunch of just random pipes okay it's nothing um nothing crazy okay there we go we'll put it like that and this will also continue going up we'll just run it straight through here and it'll go straight back into the wall and this one right here will go straight and we'll just grab a torque meter here and this will um kind of look like something here i don't know what it'll look like but it'll look Kind of like it's useful i guess and then we'll just grab a fluid nozzle like this and maybe just put it there it's just for some reason i have no idea then let's grab some electrical lines and bring them up in the wall and line them all the way across the wall so what we'll do here is just line it just like this all the way across the wall uh, and there we go now it looks like we have some electrical going through this wall and we'll probably do it also right over here so this electrical will go straight to the lab and then we need some stuff down here also so we will grab a uh, curved pipe like this and have it angled so this i think we'll have like a temperature display here so let's make it go up and then we're gonna grab a temperature thing and this will read the temperature for the room so they call it as atmosphere in the actual submarine so we'll do that and then we will have another green thing like right here and it will have a dial this will be how hot it is or um there we go we named it hallway temp so this is how um hot or cold or whatever it is it will be in this thing so we'll also do this and just and we'll, we just have to uh fill this all up with basically whatever because we don't want it to look plain that's the last thing i want we don't want this to look plain we want it to all be detailed 
detailed and look really nice. Then what we'll do here is add like a heater. So this will look kind of cool how I'm uh, thinking of it in my head. So we'll do this and then delete three blocks because that's how big a heater is in this game. And then we'll put a heater here. And there we go. Now we have a kind of a heater thing going on there. And then we'll have to add that in a whole bunch of different places. I forgot about heat. And right here looks like a nice spot for another heater uh, right under this uh, wall with full of radiators that we made. Um, I don't know why there are radiators, but here we go. We'll put that there. We got one right here. So we don't need to do anything crazy in this room, but we do need some more pipes. I can tell you that we don't even have any um actually blue hvac pipes connected so we'll go ahead and do that real quick we'll have multiple just like that why don't we have a curve like this and it'll run straight back into this wall here then let's have some type of pipe connect to our um bench right here i don't know why just there we go all right perfect and this room is kind of filled with uh pipes but that's fine that's how we want it and then it's perfect in the bathroom here because we already have a uh, piping system set up for that so we'll put a heater there and then we're also going to do something right here so we'll just line this straight to the floor like that and we'll also delete three blocks for a heater right here so it's pretty it's coming together i can tell you that it's looking quite nice in this submarine i'm honestly really digging all these pipes because pipes just add so much decoration and it just looks so much better with all these things going on here so we'll add this here and we'll add the pipe going down like that there we go maybe something like that over here also and this pipe right here is looking a little bit too straight so what we're going to do is actually curve it and make sure it's the right color and run the pipe straight also into this wall going there and there we go now what we're doing here is adding a battery display um we're probably gonna have a whole bunch of those so we'll do that at a dial probably um right i feel like yeah right there would be good enough for a dial make sure it's yellow this will just be um how what kind of percentage our battery is at then it's looking a bit clean up here so we're gonna do add some uh more heating of course so we'll do that there and that there and let's grab a heater slam it right in the middle and we'll have these pipes connecting to it just like that. And I just completely missed it. Oh, no. All right. Then we can't forget about the actual HVAC room. So let's go ahead and grab uh, what's uh, let's grab another heater here and put it in the HVAC room somewhere. So um, I'd say this wall right here is looking a bit plain. So we'll grab heater, put it right there and line it down like this. It'll go the, down there and it'll go straight. Um, oh, my gosh. Wait, no, can't. Um, it'd have to go this way. So we'll put it this way. Line that straight into this wall right here. And we'll also line it into the back wall to the side of it there we go it's looking quite cool in here definitely a whole bunch of controls and stuff we'll have to connect up here in a bit and we can't forget about this laboratory here so do we have any kind of cool piping in here um we do but i think we need definitely a lot more stuff on this wall here so what we'll do is uh put a heater right here on this wall and then we'll line it straight up to the ceiling then we'll have to delete these uh three blocks here once we're done placing that and one two three just like that and will that um fluid nozzle get in the way it might but we're gonna see here um i think it's fine there we go we got a heater in the laboratory and we're gonna need another one of course so we'll probably put one just one right back here and put a heater right there perfect and should we have another one maybe in that corner right there probably honestly why not you want to be sure to stay warm in this thing because it will definitely get cold i can tell you that at the bottom of the ocean we will indeed be getting cold and what we'll do here is add a uh, pipe we've actually never used before or i mean at least not in this one i don't think so we'll do this here and the one going over here will be connected to a torque meter and then we'll just run this to something so let's grab a torque meter real quick and there we go now we got some decoration going on on this wall oof then we can't forget about down here there's too much leg room too much leg room so we have to add of course some type of um, stuff right here that will be in the way of that so we'll just add some red and blue right there that looks pretty cool and of course um we forgot to color this so why don't we just oh no i forgot to switch the paint here so we'll switch it to brush and then there we go it's actually colored now maybe we should actually have it darker would it look good dark i think yeah that'd work then um the tabletops over here are colored dark brown or dark gray so we'll go ahead and color that also because we can't forget about that and is it wood on the side no i think we just left a white so yeah that will work now one of you guys in the comments told me i should add um some like cabinets in here so uh, this is a perfect spot right here for a cabinet and also under here let's go ahead and go to uh some shopping here and we're gonna go look for some cabinets so if i go to workshop and type in props there we go we got props and uh We'll, we'll look at this one now so is there any um, good cabinets in here these actually look pretty nice um should we use these uh, actually i like this one right here okay we're gonna copy this one this will definitely work uh, we could use it multiple times also so it's not just once research submarine all right lower it down into it and there we go all right we're in it okay so right where i said uh where we're gonna put it at we could put it right here and we'll put it down a couple more blocks also we'll just bring it straight to the floor and then also we'll put some cabinets right here right under this desk thing actually no we can't because the um emergency things there but let's go ahead and merge these so they don't fall out of place when we actually get spawned in and then what we can do here is just extend it out by one block so we'll do that it's pretty simple and merge this into it and we're gonna have to um actually finish the curve to this so do that like that and there we go we got this done um i don't know it's kind of like i don't know if i like the color change on it that much um we'll just do this okay there we go and that's all orange and yeah i think that's a little better there we go but i mean yeah i think that's all the storage we need honestly for this room we don't need a whole lot to be honest uh, we're not storing really anything crazy so i think that's uh, good for this 
us from and i think um a lot of our piping is set up but of course i will probably add more off screen at some point in the video but, um what should we do next hmm. we need to do something with these uh side things right here because they're um all white on the sides and i don't know if it really just looks um that cool on this so i'm wondering if we should delete it or keep it um i, I think we should keep it there but we need to color it something so maybe should we just have it brown i mean brown would work um, this is what it would look like brown um i th i think that would work yeah so let's see what it looked like over here i don't know it might be a bit harder because it's not brown here we'll just make it brown honestly we'll just color this entire siding here brown and we actually forgot to color this entire thing brown that's a little unfortunate but i guess we'll have to do that here that was not brown okay this is brown and i just colored all that on um, the wrong color okay uh, i think we could add something in this hallway here that says like the room water level so what we'll do here is grab a um dial like this um we've done this a couple times already but uh we're adding like different displays for each dial so this one oh gosh i just colored the door oh no okay we want this to be white and then this will be um room water level room water level and then we'll have a uh fluid sensor right here i think i don't know we should do it somewhere fluid sensor should we do it there um that, yeah that would work um honestly there we go we'll make sure to paint it and there we go all right so we'll connect um wait hold on it's not nope that was a fluid spawner okay that would have filled our entire room with um pure diesel so that's lovely um okay, we wanted a fluid sensor um, is that a thing here? I, I know it is. We're just kind of looking for it. Here we go. Fluid meter. That is what we wanted. Okay. It looked very similar. So fluid level will go to this and this will be room water level. Okay. That's definitely necessary. And we did something, uh, forget about something quite big here. So we forgot to add like electricity to all of the, um, AC things. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. We'll just be, uh, connecting these to like some type of random electricity line. So we'll just have this one, um, go straight here and we'll run it, uh, into the captain's quarters, um, room right here. And then this one right here, we'll just connect to that. And then then what about in here okay we'll just connect this to the wall and this will also just connect to the wall so electricity one's a little bit easier but um we do actually have to add lights to this hallway which i did forget but i at least i remembered it now so let's go ahead and grab a wedge here and um do some of that lighting we uh, always do so we'll do some light holders like this and then we'll put some light holder right here in the entrance right when we walk in and we'll do some lights right here and then um we'll do an entire video on like emergency stuff so we'll have emergency lights in this entire thing just in case we do um lose power for some reason which um is probably gonna happen happen at some point and we'll do one right here uh this is kind of far away from the nearest light so the nearest one's right there and the newest one is all the way around the corner so that might be an issue but i don't know it should be we'll see of course so this entire thing's filled with lights and then we need some lights in the bathroom right here um where should we put it in? the lights in the bathroom right there and then we'll need another one in this like corner probably like right here yeah that would work and let's grab our some lights we'll just grab some lights like this place them in all of these so now we have a frame for the lights so they actually are being held by something and now just dangling from the ceiling perfect perfect and everything is looking nice in here and then uh once i get this done we'll connect all of them to constant ons and then we're going to um on this in and actually test it once i do that so let's grab our light switches here and turn on all these lights with this constant on and um we'll have a electrical video where we actually switch all of them because we're not gonna have all that be connected by light so light here and i think that's it is that all the lights in here okay we got all the lights spawned in so let's see if they actually work is infinite electric on it should be yeah it is okay go ahead hop in this thing and see if we can uh, actually see these lights but um right here's gonna be the reactor i don't know when we're gonna do it might be next video you never know but i don't know how to build a nuclear reactor yet but we will figure that out okay lights are looking good in here all right looking clear we'll probably add a darker uh fade to the lights they are a bit bright i can admit that i don't know okay it's looking quite good it's looking good uh we oh what? i deleted the fluid sensor on accident oh no okay that's fine this is our laboratory really nice in here i really like it if you haven't already make sure to check out this video we did it yesterday all right now that we got the lights done or uh, so i think we do um let's go ahead and connect some of our hvac here so we have all these settings right here so we need to turn on this so this is our heat so let's make sure all these rooms have heat so this one has heat i think we did uh, put heating in all these rooms but i don't know about the kitchen i think i forgot about this one we'll have to put heat in this room right now okay, so we're just gonna build some spots for a heater so right here would be a perfect fit just like that and anywhere else uh, i'd say like right next to this door here that'd be actually no it wouldn't fit there um right here would work angle it like that and make it go up like that okay heater will be there so we have one there and over here so we'll probably need one near the kitchen area actually mm, i'd say uh two heaters would be enough for this entire kitchen area if it isn't uh we'll fix that in the future so I'll put a heater there and right here and there we go all right so we went ahead and named this submarine wide heat so then we'll go over here and connect this um active to all the heating things which is going to be nearly impossible to find all of them so 
heat right there, heat right there, and right here. Okay, it's a little easier than I thought it would be because you can actually like see the design on them. We put one in the HVAC room and in the captain one we have, do we only have one in here? Okay, that's fine. We have a heater there and do we have any on the ceiling? Okay, there's one right there. I'm gonna make sure we find all of them because it would kind of suck if we had a heater that was just there for like the looks and it didn't do anything. That's not really what we're trying to do. Um, I don't think we actually put a whole lot of heaters in the bathroom. Um, That's fine. All right, we got all the heating connected. Let's go ahead and spawn it and see if it actually works. Hopefully it does. I'm guessing it will. All right, let's go in here. This is our little walk through. Um, perfect, perfect. Everything's going to plan. All right, let's go in our HVAC room here. All right, activating sh uh, submarine wide heat. Um, is it working? Okay, the heater is on. That is working. Okay, this one's on. Let's do a heater check. So let's walk through this thing. Heater there's working. Heater there's working. Oh gosh, our door's like really glitching through there. Uh, three heaters in there. Uh, captain's room. Is the heater working in here, sir? Uh, yeah, it is. Okay, I'm talking to myself. Yep. Okay, everything's looking good. We got a heater there. All right, heater check. Heater check. Every heater's on. All right, perfect. Let's go ahead and start um, working on these. So this is our AC system. We're gonna get uh, active here in a second. So we went ahead and named this submarine wide AC. So we'll connect this to all of these on um, fans. So there's a whole bunch of them. This might use um a lot of electricity. So this thing better have really good generators if we don't uh we're definitely gonna die because that would suck all right connect all these um vents here we have a whole bunch of them lined up right here for the bathroom and all that fun stuff so connect all of them we can't forget about a single one so right there and then i think we had two in here i don't know all right i think we got all of them spawn it in and of course we're gonna check it so okay run through this little hallway thing and open this door and uh ship wide submarine wide ac and these fans are running right here. Okay, they are on. Everything in here is running perfect. Okay, uh, this one is not on. Okay, we did forget one. At least we did a check. Um, This one's not on. Uh, the captain's one's not on. We forgot about that too. And this one's not on. Oh my gosh, I forgot about like half of them. Okay, these ones are on. And I think these ones in here will be on. Okay, so we got about the captain one and then I think the one in the hallway. So let's go ahead and connect that. There's already a whole bunch of like logic stuff already. We don't even have the reactor in this thing. It's a little scary. So uh, the captain one right there. And then I think we forgot one. Where was the one that we forgot at? Um, we forgot the one right here too. So there we go. I think all the uh, AC systems should be on after that. And then we need to add uh, some temperatures. So these temperature things will read what the temperature is in each room. So this is the captain's room right here. But it's just right next to his bed. And then we have one for this entire hallway actually. So we don't need one there. And then the kitchen one right here we'll put one there and then the freezer right here and then the laboratory right here and then the hvac room right here and i think we got uh, all the stuff here and then we'll actually add one up here in the bridge because we did forget about that we actually forgot to add like everything up here but we'll do that uh in the bridge video because that will be an interesting one so there we go all right let's go ahead and start naming these um dials what rooms they are all right so we got all these names let's hover over them so we have the lab right here the main hallway uh hvac room captain's quarters sleeping room a submarine wide a okay that's not it um control room freezer atmosphere and kitchen atmosphere so we got all those and let's go ahead and connect them all right, i got all of them connected that took about uh 20 minutes let's go ahead and spawn it in and see if our atmospheric levels are looking good in this thing let's go down here here to the HVAC room. All right. And everything's looking good. Oh, why is like the, why are these ones like so much more different? 29 in the HVAC room compared to the freezer, which is only at 20. That's actually quite interesting. Okay. Okay. Um, let's turn on our heat and it will um heat all these up. I can tell you that. Yep. Here we go. It's going to all start turning to the right here ever so slightly. If they are going up, this one's definitely going up quite fast. It's going up a bit slow, but it is going up. That's good. But um, does our AC actually work? I don't think our AC would work, but let's go ahead and test it. The AC is on. Um, everything's still rising from the heater because the heater's the heater is still on but um it says it's off but uh i guess our heater's broken okay that's nice the ac system doesn't work in this game but uh the submarine wide heat will work because um they're actually made for heaters but these are just for um these are actually made for engines so these are radiators they're not even meant to, uh, to be really in here they're just for decoration but yeah all these are looking good let's keep this on for a little bit and run through kind of what we did today and if i should add anything else actually because yeah so this is um the room right here we have our little test right here which we already did yesterday and let's go ahead and lock the door because that's definitely going to be necessary here in a second oh my gosh and there's an explosion that's gonna be crazy but yeah we added all this all these fun looking colors and uh electrical stuff battery level which we don't even have a battery yet but we'll do a separate video on that this heater right here is not working okay we'll go ahead and connect that once i'm done with this but yeah everything's looking good in the submarine that's probably gonna be it for this video i'm um, just adding some simple interior uh touch-ups let me know what we should add next i already have some plans uh it might be the reactor probably gonna be the reactor we're gonna build next video i'm just saying it might be no guarantees but i'm I'm guessing it will. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell. Thanks for watching and goodbye.